Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon. Back at it again. I'm making another YouTube video. Today's video, how to start a mobile detailing business in 2024. I know there's a ton of videos out there like this, same title, same everything, but I'm going to put my own little twist on it. I'm actually going to be giving you guys the first one to two months worth of tasks so you guys can go out, get started, and have some sort of sense of direction. Now, let me be clear about this from the very beginning, guys. This is not a product video. We are not going to Walmart, guys. We're not going to be talking about uh, uh, this soap, uh, this what? No, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the relevant business information. How to actually go out, get your first clients. How to actually go out, get your first reviews. How to actually make some money because that's why we started a detailing business, guys. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this. So, assuming you already went out, got your first set of products, tools, what do you do now? The first thing I want you to do is go out and detail 10 to 20 friends and family's cars. Now, before you roll your eyes, listen, because a lot of people do not do this part correctly, right? Go out, detail their cars, and extract as much value as possible from these details. What do I mean by that? Pictures, videos. 10 to 20 pictures of each car, three videos of each car, and reviews from every single one of those people. These are your friends and family. They should be more than happy to give you a review. If you can't get reviews in, from your friends and family, I, I don't know what to tell you. And you're going to go out, use these pictures, videos, and reviews to establish your very first online presence. So your Instagram, your TikTok, your Google My Business, you can start loading them up with pictures, making posts, start working on your content. Now, one thing I do want to stress about this very early phase in your business, don't get hung up over the money. Think of this phase as an investment into your future, a time investment into your future. So like I said, don't get hung up over the money. Don't be like, oh, why am I not making 10K yet? No. Relax. We're going to get there. You got to do this stuff first, all right? All right, so you just went out, completed the first step, took you a couple weeks to do that, got your first 15 to 20 reviews, congratulations. You now have somewhat of a reputable business to start advertising. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this next step. We're going to start funneling traffic online to our businesses via organic and paid marketing strategies. So what is an organic strategy? That would be like Instagram. TikTok, not paid advertising, not boosting our posts or anything, but just posting regularly, you know, you doing details on cars, making little videos, like I'll show you guys some of the videos that I make regularly. These get tons of views, they're super easy to make, customers love them, and I get plenty of tic TikTok customers, Instagram customers telling me, oh, I found you on Instagram, I found you on TikTok. Awesome. It's free. It's free to make. So if you don't have money for paid advertising, start here. Learn how to make these videos. Now, one thing I want to mention specifically for Instagram as well, do not just post pictures of clean cars every single day. There's like 33,000, 3 million accounts already doing that shit. Nobody cares. Make interactive content, interesting content, controversial content, content that captivates people. You're going to get more followers. You're going to get more clients. There's already tons of detailing accounts that make viral content every single day just find them and copy it make it your own i'm not even asking you to be original just find detailers that make the content that you like put your own little twist on it and make it your own that's all businesses anyways right who can copy the best i guarantee you your account's going to grow much faster and you're going to get a lot more customers so stay away from that like i said so moving on to the paid side of advertising got your Google, got your Facebook ads. If you're not some kind of Facebook ads wizard or Facebook god, I would just say stay away from Facebook ads. Use the Google ads instead. They're much better. Now, they're going to be a little bit more complicated to learn. You got to learn how to make a website to be able to pair it with the Google ads. If you don't want to do this, hire somebody to do it for you. Hire an ad agency. Hire a freelancer to make your website. Do what you got to do. This is what I've found to have worked great for my business. It worked when I was brand new. I mean, I only had like 20, 24 reviews maybe when I started running my Google ads and I was getting phone calls every single day like clockwork. So 
like I said, not every business is going to be like me. This is just what I have found to work. If you want to see how my website works, how my Google has work, we can go into that in a further video. Just go ahead and let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see. I'll link my website down in the description. But yeah, and this is how I get 90% of my clients. So now we're going to put everything together and we're going to move with consistency. We're going to be posting to our Instagram and TikTok regularly, our organic marketing. We're going to be getting reviews from all of our clients that we can, building up that Google My Business. We're going to be running Google ads in the background, getting traffic to our website and getting more leads. If you can do these three things properly and consistently improve at them over time, I guess guarantee you you are not going to struggle with clients not to mention as well the compound and snowball effect of all of these things together the more and more that you do these things the more and more you're going to get known the more people are going to recognize you and validate you as a business word of mouth is going to spread naturally you're not going to be relying on word of mouth like a lot of people do you're going to be letting it just be the icing on the cake Alrighty, so like I said, I just gave you your first one to two months worth of tasks to go out and complete. Go out, finish those first. Last note I want to touch on. Don't try and do this all alone, guys. Like, reach out to other people in your area who do the same thing as you. Make friends with them. Help them out. Provide value to them. Don't just go and, and quote unquote, network with people and just ask them for shit. That's not networking. You're just being a fucking leech. Nobody's going to want to do business with you that way. I remember the first person that I ever met that was another detailer. He's still my friend to this day, and I got lucky. He took me under his wing. He taught me how to polish cars. He taught me how to install ceramic coatings. He fed me clients when I was down bad and I had nothing. Like, all because I was willing to help him from the very beginning. Now, if you still feel like you're struggling to connect with other detailers, if you feel like you have nobody to turn to, nobody to ask questions, there is an opportunity available to you. It is called the Driven Elite. This is a community that I am a part of that I help teach in as well as learn from, where we do weekly calls every single Sunday, ranging from all kind of topics like, you know, how to improve your website to how to run Google ads, etc., etc. We've had crazy guest speakers from George Stoitsev. He did 15 million in e-commerce. Uh, he's an upcoming guy in the entrepreneurship space, as well as Christopher Mejia. He was on yesterday. Mr. One Take Only. You may have seen his stuff before on Instagram, as well as Hudson Archer, a great friend of mine. We're even doing a detailer mastermind this summer where we're going to rent a big ass Airbnb out. We're going to get all these detailers together, have guest speakers. It's going to be absolutely nuts. So yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up the video for today. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you have a question? If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments or you can also shoot me a DM. Those are always open. Always feel free to leave me a DM. My Instagram is going to be on screen. You can follow that, like, subscribe. But yeah, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.